Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Microwave. Today I wanted to bring you a list of Rainbow Six Siege operators and how we can make them even better. As of now, they are completely unplayable and I will never play any of them until they fix these. So I break down every single operator and offer solution to make it more viable. So let's hop into it guys. First off, I'd like to start with Gloss and how useless he is. Gloss carries a semi-automatic sniper rifle and likes to sit back in the spawn area all day. So to fix him, I think they should give him a rail gun. This would allow him to shoot through every single wall in the game so he can see through it. His rounds would penetrate everything and make him actually viable. Gloss would then give his sniper rifle, the OTS, to Frost. The only difference between her Super 90 and the OTS is the long range red scope. Frost would remain a sniper so it's not an extreme buff. Well I guess since Frost gets a small buff, she can give her spring loaded trap to Kapkin. Because Kapkin in Russian is a spring loaded trap that catches animals. So isn't that pretty much what Frost trap is? This wouldn't be overpowered because Thatcher doesn't like Kapkin's current gadget due to its red laser beam. Speaking of Thatcher, he keeps getting his own lasers fried by the EMP grenade. So to to help keep his gadgets safe, he should wear a suit of armor. This would act like a Faraday cage for his person. He would remain safe at all times and he could ride a horse. Since Thatcher can talk, I think Mute should be given an Etch-a-Sketch so he can communicate with his team. I get so frustrated when I play Mute and I can't talk in my mic. Although Mute has a really good weapon and so does Fuse. I think Fuse should get his LMG replaced with an electric eel because that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> The eel would still fire rounds at the enemy, so it would just be a cosmetic fix. Since Ubisoft has a thousand artists and only two network specialists, I believe that they can make this happen overnight. Speaking of prison, I think Bandit should go back to it. There's been a rise in car battery thefts lately, and it's been quite annoying. Maybe it's because I live close to the border, I don't know. However, AutoZone just tweeted hashtag free Bandit because he was increasing their sales. For the next operator, let's talk about Blitz. I think Blitz should take screenshots every single time he flashes somebody. This helps create great pictures for my basement. I love collecting blinded enemy photos. It's kind of my thing. Speaking of things, I believe that Thermite is completely overpowered. He keeps getting burned and Ubisoft should give him some oven mitts before it's about to get hot. I don't think they've been following all the OSHA standards and he should file a lawsuit against them. Those are very unsafe work conditions. There was a recent poll done and everyone unanimously agreed that shield users are completely overpowered. Everyone honestly believes that they should be removed from the game completely. So I think Montaigne needs to run around speaking his name like a Pokemon character so that we can all learn how to say his freaking name. I'm not quite sure why IQ was placed in the game. The only thing that I can think of is that she was placed there for a very eye stimulating bunch of pixels. So to keep in line with what Ubisoft's concept is, she should wear a bikini because she has three speed dots and one armor dot. Although she would keep her purple shoes in that big ass helmet of hers. Ash is also a fast character and she closely resembles Sarah Connor from the Terminator. I believe her gadget should be replaced with an RPG. This would make Tashanka way more viable. Currently, Tashanka AFKs on his turret all day long. But what if he had his LMG mounted on a Segway? He could utilize the Peeker's advantage and be completely OP in the Pro League. However, this might be a little bit overpowered because the Pro League casters couldn't see the full potential due to the excessive camera flipping. Alright guys, let's talk about Pulse. I think Pulse should have his avatar swapped out with Vin Diesel and he should carry around a secondary monitor instead of his cardiac monitor. The program Moss cannot detect a secondary monitor so he can use it for hacking. He can come back from being AFK and give 100% accurate callouts. Now poor Rook needs help carrying all those plates. So I think they should give him a red flyer wagon to assist him. I think Rook is getting tired of being everyone's pack mule. So let's help him out guys. Hashtag Rook Lives Matter. Now one of my favorite operators is Cat. However, my problem with him is that he rarely talks. So I think Ubisoft should get Ice Cube to do the voiceover. Because Ice Cube is a badass and so is Castle. I've played a lot of Jaeger in this game. And I think his suction cup toy needs to have a baseball mitt on it. So that way it can catch the grenade and throw it back at the enemy. Now this is the only way to make Jaeger viable. As of now, he's 100% unplayable because he wears a pilot helmet. Now does anybody else get tired of shooting your friends? If so, Doc is not the operator for you. I get so tired of accidentally killing a teammate because he has a pistol that closely resembles his syringe injector. I personally think he should have all of his weapons removed and he should be given Heelys so he can coast around the map. Now if you like Heelys then you probably love Play-Doh. You would have something in common
common with the operator Smoke. Every single time I play Smoke, I keep gassing the hostages. So I think they should remove his deadly chemical and they should replace it with medical marijuana. Now instead of dying, you just get the munchies. However, if you live in the US, there are select states that can actually get this. So check out the diagram below. Since Black Ice DLC, Buck has been a critical linchpin of an attacker's strategy. He was originally placed in the Far Cry game, but since their sales sucked and nobody played it, they moved him to Rainbow Six Siege. I think he should go back to Far Cry because his skeleton key is broken and doesn't open the doors in the game. Now Twitch has a useless drone that doesn't do much and dies in one single shot. To buff her, I think they should replace her drone with a Roomba. The Roomba would zip around on autopilot because somebody has to clean the gigantic mess we make up every single round. Now Sledge was a hard one to come up with. Sledge currently carries around one hammer but he has two hands. Ubisoft should give him another one so he can walk around evenly balanced. In the short term, it doesn't really make that much sense. But over a period of time, he can get back injuries from all the unequal weight distributions. So the current rumor is that one of our next operators is going to be a female that can toss cameras onto the ceiling. In the elite concept bar, she appears to have thighs for arms. She looks like she could just gallop around a meadow somewhere like Black Beauty. To make her more proportionate like IQ, she needs to be given nanny cam teddy bears. Now these bears would be completely hidden due to the camouflage of the pink fur. She would be able to place them wherever she wants, on top of counters, shelves, on the floor, on the car, in the garage, anywhere. And finally, we come to some guy that has mini shields on his primary weapons. These mini shields and the operator would be removed from the game completely. Instead, there should be a random operator icon placed in the slot. So all you have to do is select that and you get a random operator and receive something that would actually help the team. Now I've done a ton of research and ran a million simulations. I believe that this would increase the player population significantly. I think that this should be taken seriously and be implemented in the next patch. So I've been forced to play Recruit 24-7 now. And so yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys like my professional opinion on these ideas, you should give me a thumbs up. And if for some reason you really like my videos and you want to stay tuned to everything microwave gaming related, you should tap that subscribe button like it's hot. I want to know what you guys think, so put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.